Today we're at Kirkland Bridge to install a hydro brake. This is a flow control device. It's being installed on the White Cart River. During periods of intense rainfall, the, this area that I'm standing in will become flooded and the water will be released gradually to uh, give a controlled flow. The hydro brakes limit the rate of flow of water through this dam so that the river downstream from here as it flows through Glasgow does not overspill the banks and we don't have flooding of houses and other properties. We've loaded the hydro brakes up onto the chains, lifted the hydro brakes round into position and lowered the hydro brake down into position and will now commence bolting up the hydro brake. Once we have the hydro brake bolted into the head wall, we then need to do the benching concrete to ensure that the flows that come down the river flow into the inlet aperture of the hydro brake. This will result in 15% less flows into the city as of today onwards, which will mean that there is an element of protection already started for the, for the public in the city. We're here at the Black House Inlet, which is part of the uh, White Car Flood Prevention Scheme. We're putting in the 1925mm CX Hydro Brake. This Hydro Brake is different to others that we've made because it doesn't use a conventional construction. We're using a shell former with internal struts and then we are forming 600mm of concrete on the outside of it. So the structural, structural strength will come from the concrete. The crane has been brought in by Carillion to lift the hydro brake into position. Uh, first of all it's turned into the correct orientation so that we can use it. And then the uh, shell is lifted up and uh, over the bar screens that are already in position and down into, into situ inside the structure. This hydro brake is the largest hydro brake ever made in the world and it's the first one ever made in this fashion with the former being a skin and then the uh, concrete added to the outside. We're confident that the, the locals and the taxpayers of the city are now being protected and that the council are doing, taking their responsibilities seriously to ensure that with climate change, with past flooding and all the issues surrounding the environment that this scheme fits perfectly into, into that that it's not damaging the environment downstream and upstream here and importantly for the city of Glasgow that the um, public are comfortable that they are now protected from future floods.